Hello everybody, uh, Jen here, just wanting to bring you all a bit of an update as to where it is that we are going and what we're going to be doing. Um, we have had a chance to meet with a lot of people while we've been back, but we haven't had a chance to meet with everybody that we would have liked to and time is like running out. So we thought we would bring you this video to answer some of the common questions we've had as we have been meeting with people. Uh, first of all, where are we going? We are going to a place called João Pessoa. If you have trouble saying that, you are not alone. <laughs> Most people, for some reason, can't say it. Um, anyway, don't worry about that. The nickname there is Jampa. João Pessoa is a big city of about 800,000 people on the east coast of uh, Brazil. It's actually the easternmost point of all of the Americas and I'm going to be showing some maps later that are going to help give you a better visual for where were we, where are we going, and how are we getting there. Second most common question we've had is why are we leaving Marabá? First of all, we absolutely love the people in Marabá. We became very attached and very invested in all of those people there. So why are we leaving? Short answer, because of Jesus. Uh, about a year ago, we felt really um, like there was a change coming. And we didn't know if that change meant that we were going to be staying uh, in Manaba, but just moving off of the base and starting something new there. Or did it mean that we were going to be moving to an entirely different place? And somewhere in around December, we felt really sure that God was actually calling us onto a completely different city. That's when we started our planes, trains, automobiles, and line boats tour of northern Brazil. While we did that, we took Alpha training to some bases that were asking for it, um, and it gave us some time to spend time there and really f get a feel for whether or not we felt like that was the next place for us. One of the places uh, that we went to, obviously, was João Pessoa. The reason we went to that place is because the Brazilian nationals asked us to. The leadership of the Brazilian church has a vision to plant seven in seven other cities aside from where we currently are. And as the Shinku mission, one of our main objectives is to really work alongside and together with the Brazilian nationals. And because this is somewhere that they really want to plant and we were looking for a new place, um, it seemed like a good idea that we go and at least check it out. Check it out we did. And when we were there, we felt really, really sure that this was the next place that God was calling us. And so, so what are we going to be doing in João Pessoa is another question. Well, first of all, uh, the most, uh, probably the most important thing is that we're going to be planting a church. Well, what does that look like? Do we buy ch church seeds and, <laughs> and plant them somewhere? Um, really what planting a church looks like is moving to a new place and starting to get to know people, uh, starting to love on them, introducing them to the Jesus that changed our lives and can change theirs. And it's also about finding out what are the tangible needs in that area. We don't know yet in Juan Pessoa what those tangible needs will be, but we will be looking for how can we, how can we be actually be the hands of Jesus and help people in different ways. It could be drug addiction. It could be uh, broken relationships. Um, it could be childcare. We just, we aren't sure yet what those needs are going to be. Another question that we are often asked is, so what are you doing when you actually get back? Have you moved already to João Pessoa? The answer is no, we have not yet moved to João Pessoa. So here's how it's gonna work. And I've got some maps that are gonna help us uh, visualize how this is all gonna happen. On October 12th, we will leave Toronto and fly back to Maraba. When we arrive in Maraba, we're only there for four days. At the end of those four days, we're gonna take a 10 hour journey almost due north to a place called Salinopolis. That's where there is a uh, annual missionary gathering uh, where we'll be for about five days. After that, we get back into our combi and we travel 2,000 kilometers down to João Pessoa on the coast. We're going to spend a month there. And why are we spending a month there? We really want to make sure that we choose the right place to live we want to have some time to get to know the city before we choose a place to live. We have moved 
more times than I care to mention in the last six years. And so we're really hoping that we can find a place that will be maybe not our forever home, but definitely our home for the next few years. Now, after that one month in Joan Pessoa, and once we've sorted out a house and we know where we're living, we're going to then do another three-day, 2,000-kilometer trip back to Maraba, where we're going to organize all our stuff, get everything in a moving truck and in our combi. The combi with Luke and Boomer and Phil and some of our stuff is going to head back along with the moving truck to Joan Pessoa. Faith, myself, and some of our precious things that we don't want to put in a truck or in our car are going to fly to Joan Pessoa, lucky us, um, and meet the truck and Phil and Luke and Boomer there in our new house. Um, another question we get is, how does this all work? Where does our money come from? How do we fund all of this? And that question can be answered by looking at this pie chart. That big green section there of 80% is individuals like you who have been following us, who believe in what we're doing, and have said, yes, I would like to get behind what Jen and Phil are doing, and I want to actually invest in it and be a part of it and that 80% uh, means that we can do this thing and those investments are anywhere from 25 to you know $200 a month it really depends on what you feel um, called to give and if you do want to get involved in that you can follow this link here that's going to give you some options of how to give please email me if you do want to get involved because I want to know that all of your process has been smooth. If you have any difficulties, I want to do what I can to make sure those get straightened out. So there you have it. That's kind of what it looks like for us over the next few months. We're hoping to be settled in Joan Pessoa um, by the beginning to middle of December. Before Christmas, ideally, we'd like to have Christmas in our new home. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who encourages us with words, who prays for us, who writes to us, who likes our photos. All of that feedback is really, really helpful when we are so far away from everybody we know and love. We hope that you'll continue to not only follow and encourage us, but that you'll actually make the decision to say, yes, I want to get involved in this too, and that you'll follow that link and sign up to become one of our partners. Thanks so much and ciao for now.